<laughs> Hot. Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel again. So we are recording on my cell phone. Yeah, sorry, so shaky. I'm trying to do this with a selfie stick. Yeah, we bought one. Justin wanted one, so we went and got him one for his selfies. That was you. Don't get. I'm still want to kiss them. All right. <laughs> so um, this video, we will be talking about inner racial struggles. No, baby, struggles, we did that one. Challenges. Our interracial relationship tag. Oh, there we tag. go. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry, I just ate. So. Um, I'm back to natural, back to the fro. Um, I like it. I like your fro. I like your afro puff. Thank little you. Puff. So I have weave on, weave in. I mean, the last video when I went to Alexandria and I had to take it out because the hair that I bought was Brazilian hair, so that was human hair. But the hair, the lady, not the lady, my aunt used to palm rolled my hair down was fake and that was not my hair was not happy with it at all because my scalp was very irritated i was pounding my hair like like pat I'm throwing punches <laughs> yeah like i was scratching it really hard i was my punch tyson punch <laughs> i was like pounding my head so hard like i'm pretty sure i got headaches from it and um it scared justin i think because literally i was just like and he's like, B, stop. I'm like, you don't understand. Like, because it was the first time it's ever happened. So I didn't know how to, like, deal with it. It's like just a pound and scratch. So that is irritated my scalp. And I was like, uh-uh. This is not worth it. This has to go. So I took it out. And now my hair is back to the fro, which I love. And my baby likes. So that works just for us. But anyways, the video. <laughs> So, we will be answering a few questions about interracial relationships. It's kind of like our interracial challenges a little bit, but a few questions are different. Anyway, so the first question is, what has been the most challenging thing about dating interracially? I can't. Dirty looks. Dirty looks. Dirty looks really get me. Um... I'll let it try and let it roll. Just, you know, cause that's not like, because they're not in a relationship with her. I am, <laughs> but it does get to me. Um, let's see. I will say, I will say the same thing. I second that. So that most likely has been like the most challenging. And then I guess like another part will be, actually no. Not more so, because Justin was very, well, like, Justin's, like, learning about, like, the Ghanaian culture and stuff like that. Like, even the language and stuff. So, I wouldn't say that's been challenging. If anything, it hasn't been a challenge, because he's, like, learning about our, my culture and stuff. I want to. He does want to. So, the most challenging is just the whole dirty looks and just people just be negative at, like, you know, in total. I don't know why you need to be so negative. Yeah. Um, so the next question is, do you get dirty looks in public? So obviously, yeah, you know I mean, we just talked about that, but yeah, we do get dirty looks sometimes. Um, but we don't care anymore now. Like, I guess not so much like before, because at yeah. first I would just be like, it, I guess it was almost like more so of a problem when we first started dating because I would not want to like hold his hand or anything when we went yeah, out. That was really annoying. And I'd be like, I'm like, Justin, you're too, I'm like, Justin, you're too close. I'm like, Justin, get, get, get. So, yeah, it was, and. Black guys, really. Sorry. Yeah, like, when we go to Walmart, especially, like, you know, like, when I'm by myself, they're just, like, I guess trying to holler or whatever. And then they see hi Justin, I was going to call him his last name. They see Justin, like, you know, around the corner. And then, of course, what he'll do is just kiss me on my cheek or something. And then they're just like, Justin. And then they're just like, like, you know, shocked. Like, oh, my God. And then the other times when we went to, like, Taco Bell or something, the guy in the drive-thru, maybe you're shaking our thing. Yeah, they're like. The guy in the drive-thru was, you know, African-American. And he went to call his other friend. 
to like come like I guess look at look at me because he and realized the white boy with the with the yeah so it was funny though. Anyways, next question is: Do you plan on getting married slash have children? If so, how do you think they will be perceived? Um, <laughs> what were you saying? Oh. So, are we getting married? Yes. Yes, we are. We better be. Two years, baby. Countdown. Two years will be official. Yeah. Okay, so. If you don't hold this, please. I am holding it. There we go. Sorry, guys. Okay, so. Ah, there we go. Hi. So, yeah, we do plan on getting married. And we do want some kids. We want three. Yeah, we talked about this, obviously. A girl. Um, A girl. And, like, maybe two boys or something. <laughs> we had a dream. Oh, yeah, we did. So... <coughs> You okay? Yeah, I just choked in my spit. <laughs> okay, so like a few months, like during the summer, Justin was in here and I had a dream that we went to like the doctors to find out the sex of the baby and they were like, Mr. Ramos says, hi, Kim, it's a girl. And I literally, I woke up and I texted like my friends. I was like, nah, like I don't want a girl. <laughs> and then I emailed Justin to tell him and he's like, what? And I was like, yeah. And then like a month later or so, Justin has the same, well, not the same dream, but he has a dream as well, and it was a girl, so. She was, like, four. So, um, I think this guy tried to tell us we're going to have a girl first or something, but if that's the case, yay, girls. Girls are fun. I could dress her up all cute and play with her. I mean, I won't be disappointed if it's a boy, though. Yeah. I got that name. Oh, and we have her name. Yeah, I know. I like it. Well, when the time comes, you guys will find out then. Um, let's see. What's the next question? Oh, so uh, how do you think they'll be perceived? Um, hopefully, like, you know, they're not judged because they're, like, their parents are, like, you know, in a, in a racial couple, just, like, like of who they are, like, you know? Cause I'm, yeah, I think they will. Yeah. Because we both have, like, our family raises are, like, really right. So raising our kids with the morals that we were raised with wouldn't be, like, an issue at all. So it's just we'll make sure that the, they know about, like, their backgrounds, you know, like his dad's oh, background yeah. and then, of course, my background. So just them um, learning about it and not, like, liking more than the other or disliking, you know. Yeah, yeah I won't admit. Yeah. yeah. It's good. <laughs> um, let's see. Is is it different dating outside your race as opposed to dating your race? Uh, I don't think so. Some uh, uh, I don't know. B B is the best woman that I've ever been with. She's my everything. Um, she she treats me really well. Um, she's good to me, and I really appreciate everything she does. I mean, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Mm, a little bit different, yeah, because Justin isn't Ghanaian, and, like, if he was, like, certain things I wouldn't have to explain, like, you know... Like, I'll just, I don't know, speak, yell at him in tree and, like, you know, he'll understand or something. So. I'm getting there with the tree. Yeah, he is. Like, sometimes I yell at him in tree. He's just like, oh, I'm sorry. Whoa there. What was that? Ghost. Yeah, I guess we have a ghost in, that, in, in the house. But, um, anyway, so a little bit more different since my culture is, like, different from his. But. I mean, it hasn't been an issue, so. Um, next question is, do you do you interact with other interracial couples? Um, Not really. Yes and no. Not really. Like, one of his buddy is an interracial couple, but we don't really hang with them as, like, often. We saw them recently for, like, one of their 
one of his like buddies little girl's birthday party mm, and that's when huh you getting old yeah i was at a party guys for a one year old and they all have babies Except for us. Except for us. And then they asked us, hey, when are you going to get one of your own? I know. They're like, you guys need to hurry up. And we're just like, no. Um, but anyways, so yeah, we do not really interact with them. We did plan like a double date with one of my coworkers who was an interracial. But unfortunately, it never happened because they broke up. So That was really like... <laughs> It was awkward because it was because I was texting. I was like, "Hey, you know, you and I and Justin and the guy, now you know, we should go out." And she was like, "Yeah, but don't be surprised by bringing another white guy because him and I aren't together." I was like, "Wait, what? No!" But it was for the best. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, and then last question is, what made you fall in love with this person? Me first. Okay, so um, one thing I would definitely say is that Justin is really, really, like, I would say this forever. Justin is, like, really understanding and very caring and very patient. Like, you guys know, like, if you knew me, you would, like, he's very, very patient because especially just even school starting and work and just trying to get back in, like, my regular routine, I've been very, very stressed. So... With that, like, I take it out on him. And I'm just like, oh, my God, like, I'm stressed, school, work. Like, I have, you know, multiple jobs. So he's very patient, and he has a huge heart. I try um, to help. He does. He always, he's always offering. He's very, very, like, helpful. I don't always take it, though, because, I don't know, I'm stubborn. stubborn. <laughs> That's right, yeah. I'm stubborn, too. I'm stubborn, so, but... Yeah, so he's he's very list like you know he's very caring, he's very understanding, he's very respectful. He's never disrespected me, which I know that will never be an issue because his parents raised him right. Um, I'm a reasonable. Yep, and just I don't know, he like he really does care for me. Like I know how much he cares and loves me. Like I always tell him, there are a few things that I know for sure in life, and that my name is Beatrice. Uh, you know, I speak to, like, you know, I'm Ghanaian and just loves me, like, I mean, along with other things I know for sure in life, but, like, that's, like, on the list of things I know for sure, so, yeah. Uh, are you going to answer the question? You just knocked that one out of the park. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love Beatrice. I love everything about her she's my friend i can confide in her i can i get i tell her all my issues believe me she's tired of it but she's always there she's yeah, just <laughs> she's everything i could have ever asked for Aww. and i love beatrice and no one in the world i'd rather be with and be a trip. Even Zoe self down. Yeah, I could. If she popped, like, came up and was like, hey, do you want to date me? I'd be like, <laughs> no, I'm going to stick with Beatrice. <laughs> Look at me. You better I date make, her so we can have, like, child support money. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I will I hurt want him. To be my wife. I am going to be your wife. Um, so, yeah, that was that. Uh, Justin is the sweetest guy ever. Beatrice is awesome. Um. She's the best thing ever. <laughs> uh, you want to say bye to the folks? Oh, bye, everybody. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye. Bye. Wait, no, wait, sorry. Oh. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, subscribe. Yes. Comment. You guys, we're almost at a thousand. Let's get there. Mm -hmm. subscribe share. comment share like comment i love reading comments guys like she said comment twice yeah dip dive duck dodge <laughs> so yeah and we'll see you guys in the next video we have some really really exciting videos coming up for you guys so all right see ya bye bye